it's Kelleen Bishop, the Preparedness Pro, and today's video that we're going to present for you is going to show you how you can prepare for just about anything with very little money. One of my secret weapons is the local thrift store. You don't have to wait until you're poor and broke to go to a thrift store. In fact, you probably won't get poor and broke if you go to a thrift store a little sooner before then. Anyway, I'm going to show you all kinds of possibilities inside of just how you can really stretch a dollar. Then we can turn some of those I can'ts into I did. All right? Let's go. Have everything I need. My notebook, my water, of course, because this is some power shopping sometimes. And of course, I always have to get a shopping cart <laughs> in which I can fasten my handles in. Because if somebody's going to steal my purse, <laughs> they're going to have to haul a lot more of it to get out. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. <laughs> One of the first places that I always go to is housewares. See if I can get some of my canning jars and lids for dirt cheap. This is the one on housewares that I really, really like because it's great for sealing the air out of items that I'm gonna constantly be getting into. $1.99 for a jar like this. Excellent. I can't even beat that on Amazon once you count into shipping. Canning jars, only 49 cents. Great deal, especially in most of the parts of the country. This is a great find, a manual food processor. So you can save time and save physical effort with or without electricity. And priced at $5.99. Now a lot of thrift stores will actually have coupons on certain days or they'll have different prices depending on what color the um, the price is, if it's yellow, purple, gray. For example, at this particular thrift store, every Monday is 99 cent day on a particular color of a price. It's $5.99 for a manual food processor. Always open up the boxes though of anything that you're gonna buy. I don't care if there's tape on it or not. <laughs> you gotta go down. <laughs> Always check and make sure that all the pieces are here, but it looks good. Manual food processor, $5.99. This is a West Germany made clay cooking container. You could do this in your solar oven, put your meat, your aromatics, your vegetables and such, but in your solar oven, just cover it up with a dark colored towel, such as navy blue or black, put it in. What I like to do is I like to get the clay all wet before I put it in a solar oven, and then the moisture is gonna be that much better inside your meats or your vegetables, or even you could do some dessert dishes in this. This would normally be $40 to $50, $7.99. Just found a pair of Italian silver spoons, only $1.99. And this is silver, so they can, it can be an asset to you now or in the future, but thrift stores aren't just about what you need. Thrift stores are also about an opportunity for you to make money. And this could easily sell on eBay or Amazon for significantly more than the $1.99. A salad spinner is a must in any home that wants to preserve their produce for longer. You wanna make, want to make sure that you wash it really well, put it in the salad spinner to get it nice and dry, and then you can even use the leftover juices for your soup or stew that's coming right up too. It's a must have, and for five bucks, great deal. I always make a stop by the fleece and quality handmade blankets. If you can get your fleece for $3, even $2 a, a yard, that's a good deal. And thrift stores are the way to get it. I don't care really what the design is because I'm not going to use it for my everyday and guests and things of that nature. But it's much less expensive than if you were to have to go to the fabric store and purchase it. I also like to keep an eye out for beautiful homemade pieces such as this. This is a really beautiful, really well done, great quality, $3. It's a steal. I'm always looking for things to help in taking care of our pets in emergency as well. I almost always am able to find a good pet carrier. We also found some really, really high quality traps a few times ago that would normally run in the hundreds of dollars we paid $30 each for. So take time to look around and see what you could really be valuable to your survival and your self-sufficient lifestyle. I can never find enough of this kind of great quality stuff. Fabulous work suit, nice, thick, excellent condition, a whopping $10. Money! This is a beautiful cast iron pan. Heavy, wonderful, made in the USA, love it, because then I know it doesn't have the lead in it. 
And normally you would expect to pay $20, $30 for this, $6.99, not to mention the 20% discount I'm going to get. Another excellent find, Ozark Trail, heavy duty tent, a whopping $10. Hopefully you're seeing two components of how to use your thrift store. One, so that you can acquire items that your family needs and wants for rock bottom prices. And two, so that you can have a little treasure hunt and find items that you can increase your profitability on from your home. For example, we have an 84 piece set of china over in this case. They're selling for $199. This would easily go for $700 on eBay or Amazon. There's a lot of tools out there as well. Books are a big seller. You can actually Actually download a scan app to your cell phone scan a book and it will tell you what the average going price is for that book so if you can get it here for $2.99 or if it could be one of your free books depending on what promotions you run into then that's an awesome way for you to earn a great deal of income so there's no reason why you can't get where you want to be in terms of acquiring the items that you and your family needs and have fun at it too and do it on your schedule self-employment rocks and when I go to the thrift store, I look for fabulous and functional. These are great water boots and galoshes. Nice, sturdy, quality made. I do pay attention to the brands because it gives me a great deal of information of what the quality is of the sole and what I can't see. In this case, $2 for this. If it fits, I would definitely be taking it home. I actually spend a great deal of time in the men's pants section and keep my eye out for Levi's and Wrangler brand jeans. I don't care what size they are, I can do a great deal with jeans, patching clothes, patching tents, even making tents out of this particular type of material. It's not the adulterated, it's the nice, heavy, strong jean material. As long as I can get it for less than a dollar a yard, it's a good deal. These good old fashioned thermoses are heaven sent when you're trying to preserve energy, keep hot water hot. Anything like that that you can find would be beneficial for a time when you might ha not have electricity. Tupperware is still very expensive, comparatively speaking, because it's excellent quality and it lasts forever. So pay attention to these pieces, not only bringing them into your home, but also using them as something that you can earn income in selling. One of the things that you want to check at any thrift store you shop is to find out what other deals and incentives they have above and beyond the prices that you see listed. One of the things that we get here is every time that we make a donation, they give us a 20% discount. Thing is, is they'll give you one coupon for every donation that you make. So you may want to split up your trips to the thrift store so that you can get as many coupons as possible. 20% off of something that's already a great deal is worthy of a happy dance. You may get a little bit grumpy sometimes when you go to the thrift store, especially when you just paid $25 for a pizza peel, only to see it at the thrift store for five. Every once in a while, you'll find something beautiful, like a beautiful piece of china. One little tip though, make sure you check on the bottom of it to make sure it's a brand that you recognize or a signature that you recognize, because otherwise it might be a cheap imitation that contains lead. But if it isn't, like this is, this is a great piece, only $4. It def definitely would be worth having and putting for sale on eBay or having it in your own home. Here's another find. These Fisker scissors are in perfect condition. They're typically $10 a piece. They're selling two of them for $3.99. Plus, I've got my coupon for 20% off. Mind you, the scissors have absolutely nothing to do with preparedness, unless, of course, you're going to purchase them only to resell them and make some money so that you can buy the other things that you need. If you see something on TV that you think you just have to have, might I suggest you first go to your thrift store, see if someone just had to have it and maybe didn't fall in love with it like you think that you might. You'll save a lot. This regularly retails for about 20 bucks on the TV commercials, only $3.99 at the thrift store. Now don't get too excited with everything that you find because sometimes the pricing makes absolutely no sense. It's not a good deal. For example, normally when I go into thrift stores, I will look at the framed pieces. Not because I want the picture in it, but because I want the frame. I would expect to pay one to two dollars for a frame in a thrift store. Unfortunately, whoever's doing the pricing at this store doesn't have a clue what they're doing. $6.99. <laughs> I think I would wait until I found a 99 cent day on a gray label before I would purchase something like this. So be careful and be smart. If you can pay attention and find collector's items such as Coca-Cola, comic book characters and such, you'll do an excellent job of earning additional income but be being able to sell it to collectors on eBay or Amazon. 
You know, one of the things is, is you can get really excited about something, but stick to your price points. If you're not going to pay more than $2 a yard for fleece, stick with it, no matter what. That'll save you a lot of money. Look, we all make messes. We all have germs in our body, etc. One thing, though, I am careful about is when I buy bed linens. It's not the messes and that, because I can clean it, but it is bed bugs that you want to be mindful of. However, that being said, finding something like a flannel sheets, that's definitely on my plus because it's going to keep people warm in the winter and what if you have a few extra mouths to feed in a crisis scenario. So I would take this home, I put it in a bag all by itself when I check out and it immediately goes into the wash so that it doesn't infect any other part of my household. So we're going to see if my persuasion skills can be handy. That's another thing you want to bring with you to any thrift store shopping. This is obviously a set of salad tongs. However, I'm not going to pay $3 for just one part of the set. So we'll see if I can talk to the manager and see if he'll sell me the set for the $2.99 price. <laughs> I got the manager to agree to give me the set for $2.99. It never hurts to ask. Hopefully you've learned that thrift stores can play a big role in your preparedness efforts getting the things that you need for your own home and your family, as well as getting things that will help you to increase your income so you can be more self-sufficient and have the money you need to spend on everything else that you want. For everything that I got, including books, some Tupperware, the cast ironware, some other pans, some blankets, I paid less than what it would have cost me to buy this brand new, and it's in mint condition. I'd say it was definitely a worthwhile trip. This is Kathleen Bishop, the Preparedness Pro. Check back with us at preparednesspro.com for over 800 educational articles to help in your pursuit of a self-sufficient lifestyle. And by all means, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss one of our educational videos.